Hi everyone, today we'll be talking all about the Cocoist Bleeding Inks right here. The Cocoist Bleeding Ink is a alcohol-based ink and it is great for creating watercolor and a marbling effect. As you see here, we have a couple different types going on and it's really great to create designs that are easy but still look great. So. If you want to know how um, to use the bleeding inks, please watch this video and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So let's get started. Do you need very little supply for this? I have my nail tip here already all prepped, just a base coat on right now. And then I have my little jar of alcohol. Oh, any alcohol is fine. And then I have my pointed brush. My Cocoa's pointed brush. If you don't have a pointed nail art brush, a pointed makeup brush will do the job just fine. But I recommend the Cocoa's pointed brush right here. Okay, so as long as you have these items, you're good to go. And then all you need, of course, is your bleeding ink. For the demonstration of this, or the purposes of this demonstration right here, I'm gonna use Hmm, let's see, which one's my favorite today? You know what, I'm gonna go with purple. I feel like that's a cool one. So I have my bleeding ink, purple right here, and Coquist has nine of the regular bleeding inks right here, but we have also have six metallic shades that we just recently came out with late last year. So obviously go check those out as well. There's lots of great shades to be had around. So what I'm basically, I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take my bleeding ink right here. I already have my nail tip prepped. And then you don't need a lot for this because it spreads pretty well, but all I'm going to do is dot it in the areas that I want to place it on. So I'm just going to do it randomly. Um, do it here. I want them here. And then, I'm, you know what? I'll put some right here. That looks about good. Okay, I'm going to put the cap on and I'm going to secure it tightly. Because I don't want that to spill. It will stain. And... Unfortunately, I know that all too well. So, oh, see, look, I already got some on myself, which is why I'm wearing gloves, because I am a mess. So I would definitely advise to wear gloves, first of all, and don't be a klutz like me, because you're gonna get it all over yourself, and it's not fun, because these are inks. So just be mindful of that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my pointed brush, I already dipped it in my alcohol right here. Mind you, I said alcohol and not acetone. Please don't use acetone for this. I'm sure you know that, but just as a warning, don't use acetone. And then I'm just gonna wipe off some of the excess of my alcohol with a paper towel. So I'm just gonna do that off camera. That way you don't need that much. So I'm just gonna go back. Okay, and all you have to do the areas that you want it to spread. You just place the pointed brush and then you'll see that it starts to spread. And then you kind of move it the way you want. And it creates this very pretty watercolored effect. Very nice to look at. The other great thing about bleeding ink is that you can layer a lot of these at a time but also great for creating beautiful watercolory looks. But you can also just have them on your own. This is what it looks like now. I just put one bleeding ink on and then if I want to create more of a marble effect, I could definitely go over with a sheer color and then some white, use some art clear to create a marble effect as well. I think it's also really great use 
of bleeding ink but you know that's what it looks like so far i only use had a little bit of alcohol on my pointed brush which allowed for greater control of where it went so now all you have to do with this is add a top coat well if you're done you don't want to add any more just add a top coat and then cure the bleeding ink dries very quickly so you don't have to wait that long which is another great thing um but yeah you're not going to cure a loose layer just put your top coat on and you're all set to go so i'm going to do that and i'm going to show you what the finished product looks like real quick this time same products, different colors. I have blue and green. I'm gonna use both of these. Hopefully it'll look good and not too earthy. Take my alcohol, I dipped it in already. Can you see my finger? Is it showing? Say hi. Very fun. Okay, I'm gonna take some of it off and I'm gonna work. Oy vey. Spread this around how I want. I'm gonna mix it a little bit too. Let's go to the whole nail. Why not? It's looking very nice. You know, I want to put like a glassy blue on top. Kind of some exemplify that ocean feeling a little bit more. This one, I decided to do it all over the nail instead of just in one specific stripe or pattern. You can see this is much more watercolor. Look at that. And then I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I'll only take a couple seconds though, so, cause it dries very quickly. And I'm gonna put another layer of color over that. Kind of blend it all together. I have mint jelly bean. I have my application brush from nail thoughts don't look at it too much though because man did i get something on here i'm gonna cure this now for 30 seconds Okay, I decided I want a little bit of white on here, so I'm gonna add it just like that. Take my pointed brush, dip it in, and then just spread that around. Mostly focusing on just one side to kind of create that. Like an ocean almost, sort of. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add one more. Top coat and cure. Look at how that green and blue blended together. I'm gonna do metallic for this one. I have the metallic gold right here. This is what I'm using. I'm gonna use it on a black tip this time. This is E148, black is black right there.
here is the metallic on there. Added some white to it and since the gold was already there to begin with, it is kind of mixed together. Make this very cool effect. And well, look at that after it dries. You know what? I just decided right now that I'm a big fan of this one. Wow! Put some gold flakes on top of that and you got yourself a nail. Guys, I don't have gold flakes, so I'm so sorry. You're just gonna have to imagine what it looks like. But in my head, it looks great. In my mind, it looks great. Let me know what you think. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put top coat on this and cure. Oh yeah, I'm using red now. Metallic red. Okay. This one, I just want a little bit, so I'm not doing too much. I just put a little bit of alcohol on there. Just a little bit. I didn't want too much on this one. You can see because this is the metallic red, See this little metallic red effect going on there. I think it looks super pretty. The other metallic colors are great too. I love, well we did the gold one, but I think you can do great things with this silver one as well. So here's that too. Make sure to shake these well before you use them though or else you won't get that metallic effect that you want. Okay, now I'm gonna just put my top coat on, cure that, and then we can see that. And that is why we call it the bleeding ink, because it gives that bleeding ink effect. And it has the metallic in it, which is super pretty. So that's what it looks like with the top coat. So now you get an idea. Today I showed you how to use the bleeding inks to create various types of looks. And hopefully now you can take that information with you and create some great designs of your own. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you next time. Mata ne! Bye bye!